Hi, I'm Amy Culler, Intimacy Coach, and I'm going to talk to you for a minute about initiating. Initiating is when you initiate action, when you begin action with your partner. In this case, we're talking about an initiating sexual encounter. Why it's so important is because, well, first of all, it's usual for there to be one partner that initiates more or one partner that initiates all the time. And often there's resentment that the other partner doesn't initiate more. And why is it important that our partner initiates? Why does it frustrate? Why does it build resentment if they don't initiate? And that's because initiating, when your partner initiates, it makes you feel desired and wanted. And that's quite a turn on. And in our relationship, we want to feel physically desired and wanted. And that's why people initiate. Or that's why people get it frustrated when their partner doesn't initiate. But what I often see is that people are initiating in ways that the initiation is what's getting rejected and not the way. So I'm going to talk to you because I care. So I'm giving you examples of other people. Maybe you can see something that you're doing in this. Maybe yours isn't quite this or it's something else. But So here they are. Sometimes it's just using the wrong language and the wrong timing. Like I have examples here. These are all recent examples that have crossed my path where the husband says, hey, want to screw? And he's saying it while she's changing diapers. So there's no way she's going to turn around and say yes. And that language probably isn't a turn on for her, right? Are you following me? Do you go where I'm saying? And the next one is similar. Wrong language, wrong time. She's at work. She is just beginning her day. Coffee's done. It's probably 10 o'clock in the morning. She's got the pile to get through. She's a busy executive and she gets a text from her partner that says, hey, what are the chances of me getting a blowy when you get home from work tonight. Well, <laughs> I'm guessing the chances were slim to none because that is not a sexy way. That's not going to get her to look forward to it. And it's more of like an invasion on her day. That's not a, hey, babe, I'm thinking about you. You're so hot. I can't wait to see you at the end of the day. Have a fantastic day. You're the sexiest woman I know. That's not what that is. That's when are you coming home? I'm going to be watching video, playing video games all day, and I want to make sure that you're going to give me a blowy when you get home. Not sexy. <clears throat> Again, these have all recently crossed my path. The, the other one is she got home after a long day of work. She's sitting in traffic. She walks in the front door, grateful to be home. He doesn't greet her with a hug. He doesn't greet her with a hello. He walked up to her and grabbed her boobs. She just didn't even know what to do. How is she supposed to respond to that? Again, these are ways to that they're that they're initiating that are being turned down that are not having her say yay and more. And then here's two more that are really common. I'm sorry to keep going, but this has crossed my path a lot lately and I want you. Yes, you to initiate in a way that she can say yes, mm-hmm, so that you can have more of what she wants. So this is also kind of important. And it's the complaint that he starts hug, that every time they hug, he starts grinding on her. So that means that she can't just have a hug or melt into her arms or have any physical contact whatsoever without him immediately turning it into initiating for sex right then and there. <clears throat> and then the last, I'd say the most common one that I hear is that he just looks at her and says, want to have sex? And again, all of these, any of these might work for some people, might not work for other people. These have actually been complaints, discussions, or laughters, Amy, what do I do's, that have crossed my path on this week. So it's why I'm making this video. So the what's wrong with want to have sex is that, well, in my research and discussions with many men, when he says want to have sex, what he actually means by that is, do you want me to penetrate you this very moment? And again, she might be doing the dishes, the laundry, her head isn't in it in the moment. And that's not about connection. Remember, most 
sexual encounters, what you're really looking for is that feeling of intimate connection. If you just want to get off, then go do that. But if you're trying to involve your partner and you're getting rejected or your initiation is getting rejected, that's where I, some of these might be able to help. So when you say want to have sex, she's, she's like, what? And as I say, I'd like to rename sex pleasure because too often when people think of sex they think of penetration and it's like you know I want you to explore pleasure together instead of just going in there so that you can get off because an orgasm is a climax of sexual pleasure so I want to make sure that you're having sexual pleasure and the more sexual pleasure you're having the more sexual pleasure you'll want the more sex you'll be getting the more pleasure you'll be getting the more intimacy you'll be having try it my way you'll like it trust me so here's a few ways that you can initiate in a way that won't be rejected. It's not you that's being rejected, it's the initiating that's be rejected. So here's a few cues, a few tips. Anticipation is the best aphrodisiac. Anticipate, look forward to it. Send a text early in the day that says, hey babe, have a great, have a great day. I can't wait to see you tonight. Might get you further than uh, what are the chances of a blowy. Um, one of my favorite fun ways is the candy dish. I talk about that in my TED Talk. Put out a candy a bowl and some candy. And when one of you wants some sugar, you put in a little candy. When the other agrees, you put in a candy. Two candies, you got a little match going on there. And you can have a little fun. Chocolates means, hey, you wanna. Jelly beans, let's do that thing. He can have a lollipop if she gets more licorice. <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with it. And it allows that partner who doesn't usually initiate or doesn't have words to ask for what they want or who might be a little bit shy, it makes it more fun. So invite the candy dish. And um, I think that every couple should have a play night. People talk about a date night, but I don't really care if you have a date night. I don't care if you see a movie or go to a restaurant. I want you to have a play night because you got together in your relationship for the intimacy, that space between you. You came to connect in whatever way that is for you. So I want you to have that play night because I think of you like a team. That's why I call myself a coach. And I want you to have a practice game so that you're getting better and better and better. Because if you find yourself and you're just playing the game and you're not improving your game, at some point you might start looking for other players or wishing that you were on a different team Right? So make sure that you have that play night. That way you can both look forward to a night that neither of you has to initiate. You're both initiating for the evening. You're both beginning together. And that brings me to the last one, the hero hold. I talk about the hero hold a lot. I want the world to have my hero hold. It's where you hold your partner from behind and you stop talking. You, it's the hero hold and you just make that yes sound. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And by making that sound and knowing that neither one of you is going to talk, it allows all of your emotions to just fall through the lists, the responsibilities, the resentments. They just start to fall apart. And when you make that sound, uh-huh, you start to make it together. Your sound waves synchronize, your brain waves synchronize. Suddenly, you're connected you're matching your vibes your frequencies <laughs> but for real there are brain waves and sound waves and you start breathing together and your mind you just feel connected because it's not about the words and it's not about the action about the action so to speak it's about the action the vibration of the mm -hmm sound that yes sound vibrating through both of your systems. I don't want to just hear you. I don't want to just do you. I want to feel you. And that allows you to really feel each other. So, I suggest you give that mm-hmm a try and that hero hold can become your ritual so that when you have that 
um, play night or when you, after the candy dish, where you begin your encounter, you can always begin with the same thing and that becomes your ritual. And try making that, that hero hold, mm -hmm, holding your partner from behind. It's a beautiful ritual to begin an intimate encounter, to connect at the end of the day, the beginning of the day, over the phone. Try it, you'll love it. Contact me if you have more questions. Hit like, subscribe, let me know if you have any questions. Ask Amy. I look forward to hearing from you.